What's up, everyone? It's your man, Gamecock Chuck, today. Hey, uh, before we get started on this video, man, I need you to help me out. I need you to subscribe to my channel. If you've been watching my videos and uh, you've been checking them out, I would really appreciate it, man, if you would subscribe to my channel. Uh, share these videos to any and all Gamecock fans out there and any, any fans out there in sports in general. Uh, let them know to also subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button on my videos and uh, help me out. Just try to try, try to grow my channel. Hey, uh, today, you know, it's, it's a beautiful day outside, but there's not a whole lot going on. And uh, again, in Gamecock Nation to report, you know, it's been re re relatively quiet this week. You know, uh, you know, uh, outside of the fact that, you know, everybody, the buzz surrounding Luke Doty and his injury and then every, every game, almost every Gamecock fan out there panicking and, saying oh my god it's the end of the world and we're gonna go oh and 12 and we ain't gonna do anything but man y'all need to chill y'all need to cool out on the situation man shane beamer i have complete confidence that shane beamer has has control of what's going on there in that uh in that uh football facility so i got i got no worries in it just because luke Doty went down hey next man up come on jason brown connor jordan uh colton gothier Oh yeah, and also uh, the graduate assistant that has one year of eligibility that uh, Shane Beamer threw in the quarterback room. Oh, uh, Zeb Nolan, you know, come from Iowa State. Uh, actually, come from North Dakota State. Before that, he was with Iowa State. So he got some uh, college playing experience, some uh, some Power Five playing experience. You know, it ain't the SEC, but uh, he's played in some big time games. So hey, if he can help the team out. Hey, I'm all for it. You know, like I said, I got complete confidence in Marcus Satterfield, uh, Shane Beamer, Clayton White, all the staff there, man. You know, like like Shane Beamer said, when Luke Dirty went down, man, it's still it's a competition, man. The more people we can put in a room to compete, the better we're going to be as a team and, and down the future and overall. So, hey, I got no complaints about Zeb joining in the room, the quarterback room, so. You know, it is what it is. So maybe Luke Doty will get back and all y'all Gamecock fans can jump off, get off, get back from the ledge and and, uh, and cool down on all this uh, doom and gloom stuff that y'all been talking about here lately. Man, it's crazy as hell, man. Y'all need to, y'all need to get a grip, man. It's, it's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, that's my mini rant. You know, I don't, I don't like to rant a whole lot, but y'all just need to cool down, man. Shane Beamer's got this under control, man. But, uh. Like I said, there ain't been a whole lot going on. It's been relatively quiet this week. You know, Clayton White spoke uh, yesterday and Marcus Satterfield spoke yesterday, you know. And, you know, they gave, you know, the the, the right answers. You know, they spoke they spoke the truth. You know, hey, we got a, long, we got a ways to go. You know, we're not, we're not where we want to be right now. But, hey, no coach is going to get there and say, oh, man, we're going to beat everybody we play. We're going to shut everybody down on defense. We're going to score a million points. Nobody's going to get out there and say that, you know. It's just routine, you know, coaches are going to get up there and they're going to say, you know, we got a ways to go. Nobody's happy where they're at right now, but, you know, you ain't going to get up there and give all your secrets away and, and tell the world that you suck or, you know, that, that'd be kind of shooting yourself in the foot, you know. So, but uh, they spoke good about uh, certain players and the way they've been uh, progressing through uh, camp. And, of course, they didn't give no starters anything right now. You know, it's going to be a, probably another week or probably about another week before they announce the starters, I would say. So not really going to put out any starters. But they, they were just talking about different players and how they progressed uh, on defense, how they're coming along, uh, some injuries. And I think Zach Pickens – no, Mark – excuse me, Rick Sandage, you know, had a, uh, a leg injury, I think. So he's nursing that. Hopefully he'll get back to 100% and be ready for game one. Uh, Satterfield spoke about Doty, how he's <clears throat> positive and got a smile on his face and working as hard as he can to rehab to get back in the get back in the room get back on the field and play. So, you know, hopefully they won't rush him and let him heal properly 100 percent and then get him out there. You know, but until you know that happens, you know, like I said, you got Jason Brown, you got Colton Gothier, you got uh, Zeb Nolan, and you got Connor Jordan. You got four people right there. If they weren't capable, they weren't capable quarterbacks. They wouldn't be at South Carolina. So, I got complete confidence in uh, Marcus Satterfield, Coach Satterfield, and Coach Beamer that they get these guys right and ready to go by week one. So, you know, all y'all fans out there, like I said, stop with the dang doom and gloom. It's ridiculous. So, 
But uh, like I said, ain't a whole lot going on um, in, in Gamecock land. So it's kind of been a boring week. Not a whole lot to report. Not a whole lot to put out there. Hopefully, uh, hopefully after the scrimmage this weekend, tomorrow, we'll be able to tell a little more where we had as far as depth chart, where we had as far as starter, starters. Um, if I find out anything, I'll make sure I put it out there. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, just, just, uh, just have faith in Coach Beamer, man. I, I'm telling you, Gamecock Nation, we headed in the right direction. You got to have faith in his ability and his vision for the program. So with that being said, like I said earlier, subscribe to my channel. Help me get my subscribers up. Share these videos to any Gamecock fan out there. Help me uh, build my channel. Uh, if you're watching these videos, and, and I know some of you are, if you ain't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Uh, leave comments below. Let me know what I need to work on. Let me know what I need to uh, add to my to my show. Uh, let me know. Hey, do you think it sucks? Hey, let me know. I don't care. Um, but just reach out to me and let me know. Um, Till next time, like I said, go Gamecocks. Go Coach Beamer, Shane Train 2021. Let's go, baby.